Good morning. It's Friday, September 2nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Of Promises and Panic, and our scriptures Deuteronomy chapter 7. If you listen to these regulations and faithfully obey them, the Lord your God will keep his covenant of unfailing love with you as he promised with an oath to your ancestors. He will love you and bless you, and he will give you many children. He will give fertility to your land and your animals. When you arrive in the land he swore to give to your ancestors, you will have large harvests of grain, new wine and olive oil, and great herds of cattle, sheep, and goats. You will be blessed above all the nations of the earth. None of your men or women will be childless, and all your livestock will bear young and the Lord will protect you from all sickness. He will not let you suffer from the terrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but he will inflict them on all your enemies. You must destroy all the nations the Lord your God hands over to you. Show them no mercy and do not worship their gods, or they will trap you. Perhaps you will think to yourselves, how can we ever conquer these nations that are so much more powerful than we are? But don't be afraid of them. Just remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all the land of Egypt. Remember the great terrors the Lord your God sent against them. You saw it all with your own eyes. And remember the miraculous signs and wonders and the strong hand and powerful arm with which he brought you out of Egypt. The Lord your God will use this same power against all the people you fear. And then the Lord your God will send terror to drive out the few survivors still hiding from you. No, do not be afraid of those nations, for the Lord your God is among you, and he is a great and awesome God. I've often thought of what it must have been like for God's people on the verge of entering the promised land and hearing Moses rehearse the promises God had made to protect and prosper them. And here they were, a nation of former slaves, wanderers in the wilderness, and they were to conquer this unknown territory. I'm thinking it would be strange if they didn't have a little panic fluttering around in their bellies, perhaps the understatement of the century. Doing a quick look back over the past 42 years, when we sold the family house and loaded up our kids in a U-Haul to go halfway across the country to seminary, I know there were times when I felt that flutter in my own belly. Of course, it was also an adventure, but the panic possibilities were a sobering force. On this side of four decades later, I can say without hesitating, the panic worry was a matter of not trusting God's promises, yet fully understanding that was dumb. If God could sustain and feed a million Israelites in a wasteland, wandering for 40 years without their shoes and clothes wearing out, he could certainly take care of the Brownworth tribe. Along the way, there were some shortages of what we thought we needed, but never did we suffer the loss of what he promised, his presence. We experienced unexpected provision when the pantry was empty, finances when the wolves howled, and more than a few healings of our physical and emotional need. Our kids were loved by some pretty awesome church grandmas and grandpas, and somehow our old cars managed to keep rolling along. We have been truly blessed, sometimes in spite of our tiny faith. For you today... It seems the difference between tiny faith and big faith is the willingness to let go. We need to be able to let go of what we think we need or what we want because it's better and let God decide. When you've done that, you've done your part of conquering the only territory for which you're responsible, your own heart. Each you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.